AI-generated essays, assignments, articles, stories, and art. Will we be able to tell the difference between man-made and computer-generated works of text and art? What if we already can't tell? ChatGTP is the newest AI tool in a long line of incredible yet scary programs that is threatening to change the world forever. With its incredible learning software and ability to generate text, it has worried writers and teachers the world over, to say the least. And so there are a lot of questions about it, the foremost one being exactly what it is. Come along in this video as we answer all of them for you. Sam Altman sat down with journalists for a brief interview more than three years ago in San Francisco, shortly after he had resigned from his position as president of Y Combinator to take the CEO position of OpenAI, the AI startup he co-founded in 2015 with Elon Musk and others. At the time, Altman spoke in terms that some found absurd when describing the possibilities of OpenAI. For instance, Altman claimed that the potential for artificial general intelligence, or machine intelligence that can solve problems just as well as a human, is so great that, if it were to be successfully developed, OpenAI might be able to capture the light cone of all future value in the universe. He said that the company was going to have to not release research because it was so powerful. Altman discussed the risks of failing to consider societal consequences when you're building something on an exponential curve, in response to the question of whether OpenAI was guilty of inciting fear. Musk has frequently called for all groups developing AI to be monitored. Unsure about how seriously to take Altman, the audience occasionally chuckled during the conversation. But now, no one is laughing. The technology that OpenAI has since released is shocking many, including Musk. And some critics worried that it could be our downfall, especially with the more advanced technology reportedly on the way. Despite the fact that machines are not yet as intelligent as people, this technology is a step that is terrifying all those who can see its ramifications as plain as day. OpenAI's newest innovation also makes use of machine learning. Machine learning, or ML, has become commonplace at this point. It is when a neural network is trained on numerous samples until it is capable of recognizing objects on its own. ML is used by Google and Apple to recognize things in your photos. If you look for a mountain or dog in your photos, your phone will locate them, not because you've added tags to them, but rather because photos has been taught to look for those things in pictures. A word description, such as a penguin eating a donut on a tropical beach, can trigger an image thanks to text-to-image systems like Stable Diffusion, which have been trained with millions of images. No one considers this to be at the level of human cognition, despite the fact that it is helpful and undoubtedly thought-provoking in terms of its use and commentary on creativity. We're all used to typing in search items and getting relevant results, but what if you could get an immediate response from a robot? And what if it was a lot of fun? If you ask it what it is, it will say, I am not a person, but a computer program that is designed to respond to questions and provide information on a wide range of topics. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence-powered platform that allows you to have human-like question and answer sessions with a chatbot. You can even ask it to write a review in the manner of a specific writer or to debug code, among other things. In fact, the ChatGPT model that OpenAI made available to the general public last week is so capable of answering queries like a person that experts across a range of industries are attempting to grasp the implications. Despite the fact that heavy users believe it's not that smart. Teachers, for instance, are concerned about how they will be able to discern original writing from the algorithmically generated essays that they will inevitably receive and that can get past anti-plagiarism software. This functionality, particularly in better future versions of ChatGPT, could be disruptive to search engines such as Google. Not because ChatGPT can out-Google Google that much it cannot, but because its responses are sometimes so clear and simple that they may be superior to search results at times. This is now making experts worry that ChatGPT could reduce search engine use. When Google was originally introduced more than two decades ago, many people who experienced it for the first time thought, I'm going to keep using this. When you first try ChatGPT, you'll probably have a similar experience. You wouldn't be alone in this either. Greg Brockman, president of OpenAI, the AI research business behind ChatGPT, claims that in the five days following its introduction last week as a test, over a startling million users signed up for it. This week, social media was a hive of activity as people expressed their awe at the program's powers, as well as their concern at its flaws. And ChatGPT has one very important drawback. It might occasionally be flat-out incorrect, despite expressing total confidence in its solution. However, as long as you are aware of this, ChatGPT can be a helpful tool, much like Wikipedia can be helpful, as long as you apply caution when interpreting its crowdsourced content. Is ChatGPT still a reliable source of global information? Certainly not. The prompt page also informs visitors that ChatGPT may occasionally generate incorrect information as well as harmful instructions or biased content. Incorrect and potentially hazardous information comes in a variety of forms, most of which are nonetheless harmless in the larger scheme of things. When asked how to welcome Larry David, for example, it passes the most basic requirement by not recommending that you touch him. But it also suggests a somewhat sinister-sounding greeting. Good to see you, Larry. I've been looking forward to meeting you. That sounds like something a serial killer would say, so we wouldn't recommend saying that. 
If you ask directly for the capital of a nation or the height of a mountain, it will consistently provide the right response gathered not from a real-time scan of Wikipedia, but rather from the internal data that makes up its language model. That's pretty good in itself, but when a question is slightly tricky in any way, ChatGPT quickly shows why it shouldn't be trusted. The efficient sensitivity safeguards in ChatGPT have already received a lot of attention. Even with a lot of effort, it cannot be persuaded to praise Hitler, for example. Some people have quite actively tested this feature and found that, in some circumstances, you can get ChatGPT to pretend to be a good person role-playing as a terrible person while still saying awful things. Despite all efforts to the contrary, ChatGPT seems to be able to detect instances of potential bigotry and will typically turn the text red and flag it with a warning. One Twitter user claimed in a threat that it has an IQ of 83. Whatever value you place on the IQ test as a measure of human intelligence, the result is telling. Humanity has developed a computer that can naively spew out common wisdom, but when pressed to be logical or factual, it fares under average. According to OpenAI, ChatGPT was made available to get user feedback and learn its strengths and weaknesses. This is important to remember since ChatGPT only knows enough to be harmful, kind of like that relative at Thanksgiving who has watched just enough Grey's Anatomy to sound confident in their medical advice. In the meanwhile, despite OpenAI's best efforts to prohibit such content, some users have discovered ways to deceive the chatbot into saying things that are racist or misogynistic. For instance, ChatGPT responded to a journalist from an intercept by providing computer code that authorized eavesdropping on mosques if they are associated with extremist Islamist organizations. But is it really going to be able to replace academic writing and writing in general? On the one hand, the ability of ChatGPT to write convincing-looking prose is real. However, the definition of convincingness varies on the situation. When reading a professional piece that has been published in a publication like The Atlantic, prose that you may find interesting and even frightening in the context of a generative meeting with an AI suddenly comes out as just bad. Perhaps ChatGPT and the tools that support it are more about convincing writing than good writing. Similar to how to get away with something, a liar could manipulate the truth. Initial reactions to ChatGPT imply as much, that it is a tool to assist people in fabricating student essays, news articles, or other types of writing. For those who believe AI is intended to replace rather than enhance human creativity, it is an obvious conclusion. But ChatGPT is only a tool for interacting with all of that information and all of those words. It is not a step toward an artificial general intelligence that can comprehend all human knowledge and texts. It only knows the building blocks and can piece them together to make something like in a game. It doesn't actually fathom what they mean. You use a game or an instrument to make use of everyday objects in novel ways. Without a doubt, LLMs won't take the place of college, magazines, or middle management. However, they do provide those and other areas with a new tool, really that's the best word, with which to interact with an immeasurable amount of textual material. Computers have never been able to comprehend human reason itself. They have only been tools of it. Yes, they can manipulate what they know in an incredibly powerful way, but they don't actually know what they know. For that reason, it is unlikely that ChatGPT will replace humanity's inherent abilities anytime soon, impressive as it may be at times. So, what do you think about ChatGPT? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and check out more of this content on our channel. Until next time, goodbye.